Hi guys, hope your bank holiday weekend's going well. I've had a few sales so far, but I've also spent a bit of time tidying out the garage as you can see. So sit back, grab a cup of tea and enjoy the video. Hey guys, what's cracking? Ian, the master of pieces here. I'm a part-time eBay reseller and I've had a pretty busy bank holiday weekend so far. What do you think of the new backdrop? Hey look, Closet Geek, he's moved into his new shed. Rummage around, he's running everything out of a nice clean garage. John Luke, reselling white boy, he's planning his move. My garage was looking a little bit tin pot, so I thought I'd better do something about it. Long gone are those old weed killer boxes that, that were up there and there was some old tools and stuff all, all dotted around. They've all been tidied away and I'm going to be gradually adding to this as we go. It's not finished, but it's a good start. But I also had a few sales as well. Now it's only mid-afternoon and so there might be a few more this, um, later on this evening. But I've got a little pickup to make so I can't do my usual evening video. So let me run you through what I've sold so far. And the first sale we had was this Jurassic World Ravensburger jigsaw. And this is really cool. It's, it's, it's a kind of 3D plastic jigsaw. You build it and it builds um, a globe. It's got this cool dinosaur on there and there's three or four different faces on it. Real, real neat. But you know what? I thought it would sell a lot better than it, than it kind of has. It's only sold for £6 plus postage, but I, I only paid a pound for it. So after fees, you're looking about four pounds profit. But jigsaws are going really, really well at the minute because, you know, everyone's looking for things to do indoors. But this has been hanging around for ages. Um, not too sure why, but glad it's gone and it's made some profit. So that's a good sale. The second sale I made was a Hot Wheels Monster Jam Monster Truck. And this one is in the style of Raphael from Ninja Turtles. Real good condition. There you can see the red on the wheels. There's no chips on it. Um, you know, these things haven't been snapped off. It's just a real nice um, model, really. Things to look out for when you're selling these. Are the axles bent? These ones aren't bent. They're meant to do that, honestly. And are there any chips in the paintwork? And there are none. And this one sold for £12 plus postage. I picked all these Hot Wheels tracks I've been selling in a big bundle and it works out about a pound fifty each. So I'm making a nice bit of profit on these after fees. You're looking just under £10. I've made my money back on the bundle. So that is a nice £10 straight into the PayPal account. The next sale is a Dungeons and Dragons rule book. This one's called Monster Manual and it's for rule it says core rule book three now i've never played dungeons and dragons before so i don't know i don't know where this fits in with with the game but it's sold for 12 pounds plus postage um and it's just a real neat book you know it's nice hard back so I, when, when i pack this i'm going to put it in lots of cardboard to make sure all the edges stay nice i have had a flick through has doesn't mean much to me but look at the pictures of the dragons you know it's just a real nice book um, I picked that one up with, I, pick, I picked 20 of these up, different types, for £100, so I'm £5 each, and after fees you're looking at £5 profit, so doubling my money. So it looks like that these could be a pretty good investment. The next sale was a wrestling DVD, and this one is WrestleMania, what's that one, 24? WrestleMania 24, get my V and I the right way. It's in a steel tin box and in here are, I think there's three three discs and there's a photo still, like, um, what's it called? Um, like a negative, um, yeah, fo photo still, which, which comes with that. And this one sold for £3.50 plus postage. So not a massive amount, but I'm only 80 pence in on each of my DVDs. So after fees, you're looking a couple of pounds profit. Doesn't sound like much, but I picked up 60 of them. And if all of them make £2 profit, that's 100 and, what's that, 120 quid from a £50 investment. 
pick that any day of the week. So chuff, chuff that it's gone. I had it up for five pounds, took an offer, but hey, look, I'm, I'm, I am trying to clear out some of these lower value items because tomorrow I'll hopefully have a video showing you of another big bundle that I'm collecting. And that's why I'm trying to clear some of this out. So fifth sale and it is two Game Boy games. You've got Buster Move, let me get them right the way around, Buster Move 2 and Buster Move 3 DX and both of these have the manual and I sold these for £10 plus postage so £5 each effectively. Um, if I'd sold them on their own I would have probably got six or seven pounds so you know yeah maybe I should have done that but I am in profit on all my Game Boy games so I'm not too concerned yeah I've lost one or two pounds but you know after fees you're still looking at just over eight pounds eight pounds profit to add towards all my Game Boy stuff um, and yeah this this one will post off nice and easy I'll, I'll put them side by side with the manuals on top like that so it'll go nice and flat and that'll hopefully go as a large letter and the final sale which I've made today is this ladies navy blue top um, it's a turtleneck top nice stretchy material um, the manufacturer or designer is called I'm gonna get this wrong Bauch Gen, that's what we'll go with. Probably completely wrong, but it's size eight, and this one sold for sixteen pounds plus postage. And I got this for free from my dad after he was having a clear out. So after fees, you're looking what about fourteen pounds profit. So that's that's yeah, re really chuffed with that. Like I said before, I I don't enjoy really selling um, clothes too much, but whenever they whenever they do sell, I'm bringing that bit of profit kind of makes the grind a little bit worth it to list this was dead easy i just put um, navy turtleneck obviously put your manufacturer in the in, in the title and the size take tons of pictures i put it on a mannequin and yeah it's taken a while to sell but it's it has been a good sale so that's all the sales i've had today like i said i've got a pickup to make well, have i told you i've got a pickup to make tonight I'm picking up eight jigsaws for £30, so £3.50 each, and I've been selling a thousand piece jigsaws for about a tenner. So that should be a nice, what, £40 profit after fees, And but mainly it's it's more for my wife. She's really into her jigsaws at the minute, so that's going to keep her happy, and I need her to be happy because she's going to cut my hair, like right now. That's why I've been wearing this hat, it's so long, my wife's going to have a crack at it tonight, so... If I've still got the hat on tomorrow, you know it hasn't gone too well. <laughs> but fingers crossed that that'll be okay. Um, so guys, thanks ever so much for watching. Click like, share, subscribe. And I'll be back tomorrow with a video to show you this new big haul which I've made. Really excited to share it with you. So catch up tomorrow. Bye.